So hey guys, Liam here, Primal Nomad, hope you're doing well. I'm back at the Bushcraft Show 2023. I'm here with a bunch of amazing people. Joe Poshrat's behind me. We've got all the people that I went to the Y trip with over there. So we're camped in a lovely spot of this woodland in the Thornhill Lavu. And I'm really excited for this year's show. Let's get cracking and see what it's got to offer. Just about to head to the show now. Um, it's really nice to see what's going on. Looks really busy this year, and the weather is absolutely mental. It's uh, much hotter than it has been the last few weeks. So I've covered up. I've got a long sleeve shirt on just to keep that sun off my fair skin. But yeah, look at that big setup. Loads of people camping. Let's get in and see what the show's got to offer. This is loads of food, vendors, main stage, as usual. So, it's very busy already. It's only the first day, or the first morning rather. It's about half 10. So, loads of traders. I'm gonna have a little gander. I'll keep you updated with any cool bits that I see or get myself. There's something related to me. Look at that little kitchen set at the back. It's awesome. How are we? Yeah, good. It's an Are you well? In market for a hat. <laughs> oh, awesome. Looks good on you. Yeah, well, I'm debating about it. I'm debating about it, but it's too early to make some purchases. Isn't it? Well, look, I'll turn the screen around. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's like it's made for me, really, wasn't it? Does. It does. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Good to see you here, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, we've got rough timber next to the stake detective, which is awesome. I think it's. The first time Rough Timber's been here at the show as a trader. And of course, he does all the kind of Levu TP bits. Steve, you know who he is, does all the amazing sauces and beef jerkies. Nolly here. Greetings. <laughs> How are we doing, boy? It's been a while, man. It has been, been a while. while. Good to have you back at the Bushcraft nice Show, man. Camera. Yeah. Always got a new camera. We've got <laughs> a different camera, you know. <laughs> We're just cooking up an absolute feast here at the Bushcraft Show. We've got a load of veg there in the lid of the Bidori. We've got some venison hanging just over there in a branch just to defrost a tiny little bit before it's going on there for a big meal for everyone tonight. It's been really nice walking around the show today and there's been so many amazing people. Met up with a load of you guys, the viewers, so thank you so much if you did come over and say hi. 
and I've just been shopping, having a drink with a few people. Like I said, we're just about to cook up some venison. And it's been really nice just to be back here at the Bushcraft Show. So there's been a few talks like Lofty Wiseman, Will Lord. I haven't managed to catch too many um, and only little bits in between because it's, like I said, been so many people to talk to. But I've been taking a little walk around the show, finding my feet. And tomorrow I'm going to show you all of the amazing traders that there are bring you in and show you some of the products. I've already picked myself up a Frost River backpack. It's the Isle Royale. I've been in the market for one for quite a while and I got it second hand from a really cool guy. Bacon in the bottom of the dory. Getting that ready for the veg, which can go on top now. And then the venison can go on top of there. And then we'll cover it with water and then straight on the fire. So Lee's got this really cool little tap. You just press the button and out it comes. <laughs> out of the ridge bank, yeah, how awesome is that? Little electric pump. So we'll fill up the bidori, get some water just up to the top of the veg and then stew that away. So we were walking down to see Bjorn Anderson. he was going to be doing a talk and unfortunately we just found out he's not able to be here so hope everything's good Bjorn um, but other than that we're going to head back to camp get on that venison stew because it's bubbling away it was only going to be a 45 minute detour so I'll catch up with you when that's cooked <laughs> awesome. This is my little April Fool sing. Um, sing along if you know. If you don't, there's some lyrics on the screen somewhere. <laughs> Drive for both four with two seat back, that's what I drive, no cat of that. Rolling habitat, hunting the wrist scrap, mates in the back, we're packing up. Sip my teeth from the brim of a cup, we don't give a fuck. Cause we can't get stuck. Run with six, man. Forage plants, picking nettles, doing fire dance. Camping in a place, forgetting the pegs, always making the pegs. All these roots that I tread, leads of tiny the beds. This is the crap that I do, living in the wild, no, it's true. Into the scene, I'll open the suits. That's what I do, here's my fire in the booth. Cause I don't want to smoke my best. That's what I do, get it off my chest. I'm the man of the ground, you see. And it's scared about beef and a bee suit on and I'm harvesting honey. That's what I do, don't be calling me funny, man. I'm just a man of the land. And I ain't got a plan, but I know what I'm doing with the wood. I know when I'm doing it good Cause I night in a fire with a six And that's what I do to twist, twist It's a bushcraft thing And that's what I do with a bushcraft thing But I, I don't kill the nails That's what I do how to kill the nails But I see the deer Looking through the woods And then I steer Get my bow, my arrow, quiver That's what I do when I hold it on shiver I'm not scared of the wet You will never forget so All the tips that I know Tips I'm digging a well Tips I'm digging a well <laughs> Just I'm digging a well, well. There we are. Enjoy. Beef shin, I say. Nice. Here with the state detective, Rough What's Timber, up, Trevor from TJM Metalworks. How are we doing? <laughs> hey. Amazing. <laughs> I'm cooked, real good. Cooked on your own spit cooked as well. Cooked on your old spit, old boy. <laughs> your handcrafted wares. Really <laughs> That's brilliant. Thank you, I will do. So, good morning, guys. Um, last night was an absolutely incredible evening. Of course you saw me do Bushcraft King, that was just a little parody thing for the community and I hope if you, some of you guys did see it, you enjoyed it and didn't take it too seriously. We 
we're just doing a little bit of breakfast around camp this morning, a bit of skills practice. We've got a guy from China who's come over and he's at camp, so I'll show you a few of his bits of kit. They're really awesome. We've got some hand drill practice going on. And I can't wait to show you the proper show today. What's on to offer? We're gonna go around all the stores. So we're gonna have some breakfast and we'll see you soon. So Zhun has come all the way from China and he's practicing the hand drill here at camp. Really inspirational to see all of his different little bits of kit. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Well done, Sean. Love it, man. Love it. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, boy. Well done, man. Nice, Ember. Yeah. So it's really nice to do a bit of skills practice this morning. Joe Poshrat has been doing the hand drill, so has George, Shun. Lee's been doing the bow draw, I just had a little go as well. We got a monster ember. Really, really nice kit, and that was Hazel on Hazel. So, apologies for the chopper going over, but yeah, like I said, really nice bit of skill practice. Gonna cook up some bacon and then head to the show. So, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. <laughs> so, Chun has come all the way over from China, and we've been doing some skill practice like I've shown you this morning. And it's great to just see other ways of doing things and other people that we haven't met, obviously it's nice to get to know them. He's just cooking up some bacon, I'm about to do some box egg. It's got to be done and we're gonna have a, a lovely little feed here in the woods. It's been nice, so nice though, camping with all these guys. Last time me and Ellie were in the rooftop tent and it's a nice vibe in the woodland here. So grass, grassy, green, lush. It's been really cool in here. It's been like probably 25, 30 degrees out there and in here it's like 20. 18, it's really nice and cool. So just finished cooking some box egg. Looks really tasty. Absolutely golden on both sides. Really excited for this for breakfast. And here, in fact, is my latest purchase. I got a really good deal on it, and I'm gonna go back and show you the store where I got that from, because they do some amazing stuff, really good trips as well. But this is a Frost River Isle Royale Expedition Pack. So it goes from 40 all the way to 80 liters, and it's wax canvas. I've wanted one of these for years and years. And this particular one has been on expeditions to Africa, I believe. So like I said, I'm gonna go and show you the guy who I bought it off, who was selling it secondhand and I'm really excited to use this on some trips in the future. There's a nice Raptor Liners Pathfinder. Shout out to whoever's that is. Man after my own heart. It's Paul, Paul Smith over there. I'll catch up with him in a little bit. It's about time we get an ice cream. <laughs> Favourite ally behind enemy lines on your stay cold chat. How are you? How's it going, Steve? Jolly good, thanks, Liam. Well, Ellie, yes. Behind good. Enemy lines. Here we are. good to see you. Jolly good to see you too. Nice bit of beef shared last night. Absolutely, really nice bit of beef shin. Nice bit of beef shin. <laughs> there it is. That magnificent piece of beef shin that we ate last night. Really, really incredible. And there he is, Rough Timber. How are you, dude? Hello, good morning, good afternoon. 
Good Brilliant. to finally meet you in the flesh. I know, it has it's been, been a while, hasn't it? It has yeah, been now. a while coming. Going well at the show? Yeah, great atmosphere, great weather. Awesome. Yeah, it's been awesome. It's been looking amazing over your stall. You've got all your little billy can grills, little trays in there to make them into ovens. You've got these really cute little trays and dishes. Oh, yeah. Ellie picked up so a pair well. of them. They're incredible. You've got some really, really good bits of kit and your reflector on the go here. Looks like you've been using it well. Yeah, as we just cooked some uh, bacon for me and the steak detective. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice that you two are set up next to each other. Yeah, it's been great. Mate. Perfect. Well, definitely come and check out Rough Timber, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, mate. Put on these band across, Servo Rosso's, they're amazing boots. The support is incredible. Yeah, the support's amazing on these, help you up. <laughs> hey. Inside this amazing yurt, explore our nature, bushcraft and forest school. They've got all of these different things on offer, which is amazing. Got a York knife. How are you, Luke? Bonjour. <laughs> good to see you. Has it been going well? Yeah, yeah, we've had a good, uh, good weekend so far. Awesome. A bit of sunburn as well. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. Right. We're gonna have a little look at what you got. Cool. Look at this absolute. Beast. What a beautiful knife. Always loved Luke's work. I know a lot of you guys have. It's a beautiful knife. So I'm just at Field and Steel and actually I think we got a phone call from his top fan. He is, there he is, Tom King. Hey Tom. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm being filmed. <laughs> How are you? I'm, I'm alright thanks dude. How are you? I'm at Field and Steel's uh, store. There's Tom and his favourite maker. <laughs> And Stevie, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Brilliant. How's the show? This stuff guys, bacon jam, is absolutely amazing. I hope that there will be a, a, a good outcome from there that makes them reappraise 
their world intentions of think again. Because it's more powerful and profound than you perhaps realize. And I've lived long enough in this subject to see those effects come back in maturity as people get older. It's profound and keep up the good work. Mm. So just a woodland classroom, uh, they do some amazing stuff here. Tree identification, they've got a load of trees on display with all their names. So it's really handy for people who are learning or struggle with identification. They're just another one of these awesome places and awesome teams providing education for the bushcraft scene here in the UK, so definitely go check them out. Fantastic little bushcraft egg cup. Brilliant. And it's all about having a group sort of conversation about how long ten eggs boil on a um, campfire. <laughs> Brilliant. It's a variable. Yeah, absolutely. Thing. But yeah, we've got to about between six and seven minutes for ten eggs on a campfire. So this is actually where I picked up the Frost River Isle Royale pack. They have some really cool little second hand bits on sale, as well as some really just cool bits in general. For Oakwood Bushcraft, how are you doing buddy? I'm doing good. Another Living to Learn member? Yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely. Great to meet one in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got some amazing little bits here, haven't you? Yeah, some surefire, and uh, we made some special tins for it. I absolutely love that. Yeah. That is good. brilliant. And we have key rings and stuff we've done for them as well. So it's perfect. Just to sort of spread the word. It's great, and you got a good little spread on of stuff yeah, on display. Skins there. You were saying all roadkill, weren't you? Yeah, all roadkill. Martins to uh, Red Square, believe it or not, unfortunately. Yeah, I saw the Red Square. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to pick up one of these. <laughs> Mate, Rumble's Revenge, <laughs> faint hearted. This one's got Naga chili in it. So, if you've never had a Naga chili, you haven't lived. Naga chili is a bit like a Scotch bonnet but with flavour. Yeah, you really like floral. it? Floral. <laughs> I live on it, I mainline it, mate. <laughs> found good it man. A few years ago, and I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Bit of beef shin. Ellie's going to go in for the carve up. So, I've just been gifted probably one of the most meaningful gifts since my channel has ever began, and that's a signed book by Ray Mears, obviously British Woodland. It says to Primal Nomad, Liam Lynch and Ellie, best wishes, Ray Mears. And that's all thanks to this guy, an amazing guy and his son, Paul and Cameron. Thank you so much for you two. You're very welcome, Liam. Very welcome, um, it's honestly been an absolute pleasure to meet these two 
at this show and it's just one of the things that makes YouTube so special to me so honestly thank you so much thank you no problem perfect thank you Cam you're very welcome <laughs> So we just cooked up some chicken pies in the Bidori. They're absolutely amazing. This thing is a wonder bit of kit. So yeah, definitely check it out. I'm just gonna go and enjoy this and then get back to the show. And get back to the show I did. And what a wonderful event this year had been. And again, a big thank you to each and every single one of you who came over to say hello. A big thank you to the organizers, the speakers, and all of the stalls and trades and crafts people that were there sharing their knowledge and love for the passion we call bushcraft. I was so privileged to have spent some time with some really good friends and I do hope you all enjoyed the video. Next stop is the Wild and Us Festival, which again is in July on the 7th, 8th and 9th. So hopefully I'll see some of you there. But until next time, stay safe and I'll see you soon.